Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So we have a special guest today to help us with something that we and probably a lot out of you guys out there have been struggling with and that is using the F14 in a maneuver fight, in a dog fight, in ACM, whatever you want to call it. Um, so let's introduce our guest today is VHS. Do you want to just tell us a little bit about yourself uh, in a quick sentence, VHS? Well, obviously, I play DCS like the rest of you, and I play mainly the F-14. I have well over 500 to maybe 1,000 hours by now in the aircraft, and I'm, just, I'm a sucker for low-speed turn fighting. I just love the aircraft for what it can do once you master it. Roger. And I think the reason you picked up on us is because you saw us, me, especially using it in dogfights, and said, those guys are crap. Uh, which is absolutely right and it's one of the, one of the reasons why i don't fly the f-14 a lot because i fly all of the airplanes all 38 or whatever we've got now and i can't get good at any single one of them because of that um and the f-14 especially because no fly by wire and so on is very hard you need to be like you you need to put hours into it to master it and you simply can't do that while flying all the other planes and so i'm pretty terrible at it so what we're going to do is do a bit of learning today with yourself and put it into a bit of practice as well because everything you know goes towards us getting better and teaching other people what would you say is the what would you say is the biggest uh, stumbling block or the biggest problem that people have and let's face it most people have started in the f-18 uh f-15 um right it doesn't I mean f-15 doesn't, doesn't have fly by wire per se but the way it's modeled in dcs it kind of does um yeah. it's very safe whereas the first time you jump into an f-14 it's hard not to stall it or rip a wing off or use it in any way that's actually usable and hence you think it's a crap plane when actually it's not it's just very hard to fly because presumably a there's no fly by wire b it's probably modeled pretty well to add to that right uh a couple of my friends and i we call it hornet syndrome <laughs> and that is people that will jerk on the stick you know when you go oh shit, mm -hmm. there's a guy in my tail mm -hmm. and you jerk on the stick where you instantly pull back, the Hornet is going to go 1G, 2G, 3G, mm -hmm. 4G, and it's just going to pull those Gs passively. Mm -hmm. Where in the 14, if someone was to jerk the stick, you know, she's going. She's going as hard as you want. And if that means you break your wings, you break your wings. So honestly, I probably think that's the very first thing I see a lot of people mm -hmm. or novice Tomcat pilots I interact with is they tend to be really, really jerky with a stick. And there's no, like, what should we call it, like, joystick discipline or something like that yeah and um you see it in, in green movies all the time you see just guys in a dogfight and suddenly someone just pitches up really high and it always ends in breaking their plane or getting into a tactically very bad situation um and the way i like to think about it nowadays driving the 14 if i ever get the chance is i like to think it was kind of like a warbird and it kind of is really you've got pretty much not quite, but pretty much direct link to your, you know, your, your your elevation, your control surfaces. And so like a warbird, you can't just pitch up or it'll snap its wings off or stall or something. And this is a little bit more complex in regards to it to being a warbird, um, AOA, angle of attack. Mm -hmm. The, uh, the we'll, we'll use the 16 and the 18, seeing how they are probably the mm -hmm. most popular aircraft right now. Um, those aircraft are built intentionally to be unstable. And and the concept is if I can get my nose into the fight first, fire off missiles, guns, etc., that's what's going to win me the fight. Mm -hmm. So in a short-term fight, high AOA is awesome. In a long-term fight, if you're pulling high AOA, your nose is looking into the turn, but the momentum of the aircraft is actually going outside of the visual turn, if you will. So you look like you're turning into your opponent, but all in reality, the physics behind it, the momentum of the aircraft is actively flying outside of the turn while you're looking into it the nose. So we get the whole vapor effect and everything like that. Mm -hmm. It's a good visual when you're dogfighting an opponent and you see the vapor pop off the, sp uh, the spine of the aircraft, you know they're at low speed because at that point, you've essentially turned the aircraft into a vertical air brake causing you to bleed speed where the tomcat flies more like a warbird like we've already discovered in our conversation where it can pull aoa like that and that's where you get the flat spin effect and stuff like that but if you hold that this knife edge of endurance of having it flat spin and you're using your flaps and your afterburner correctly it flies more like a spitfire than it does an f-18 and it throws people off in the dogfight because you can hold a tighter flat horizontal turn 
for longer periods of time than an 18 or a 16 can. But another gripe I have with it, another reason why I'm not too fond of it in close combat using it is that it's, I have all sorts of problems with roll. Um, so the modern, more modern planes roll, you just use your ailerons. Well, you just, sorry, you just use your stick left and right and it rolls fine. With this big clumpy thing, I find it very hard to roll, especially when the wings are out, or mainly when the wings are out. And it can get very clunky as well. If you roll really suddenly, like you need to in a dogfight, sometimes it almost uh, stops rolling, if you know what I mean. I don't know if you've encountered that right. before. I, I know exactly what you're talking about, and I can explain that for you. Um, the Tomcat is trying to figure out how to word this and try to, because textbook is hard to discuss. I'm trying to keep it simple. It's, it's, it feels like momentum is what controls the Tomcat. So if you're flying perfectly straight and you want to turn in, what you're actively going to do is you're going to say, so we're going to roll right, okay? Mm -hmm. You're going to put in the roll input to your stick, but you're also going to put right yaw, not hard, just enough to get the nose to tip over. And once you start offsetting the center of gravity in the turn, you can keep applying your roll and she'll just fall into it like a rock rolling downhill. Again, we're talking about warbird here, really. If you want to roll a warbird, it's all more about the rudder than um, than the actual ailerons. Right. And uh, a little bit more of a mechanical aspect of the Tomcat. Uh, she doesn't have ailerons. She has what's yeah. called in the book tailerons. So the elevators, if you will, the rear control surfaces also will input roll. There's spoilers, but they more or less help deflect air directly down on the wing mm. to cause the roll rather than deflect like a true aileron would. Mm -hmm. That's why they're called tailorons in the back of the aircraft, because they also inflict the roll effect as well. So you got to really put in that rudder. Okay, all things we're going to look at today. Um, is there anything else, you, anything else you want to talk about theory-wise before we go and start jumping on each other's tail? Uh, one last thing that I see a lot of Tomcats, uh, a lot of uh, novices, is wing control. You got to understand how the wings work. There's So if you look down left panel to the right of the throttle quadrant, you'll see the emergency wing sweep lever. Mm -hmm. um, you can use that mid-dog fight. It's a little difficult because you're going to have to look down to it. You're going to have to build up the muscle. So if you're using like track IR, you're going to have to build the muscle memory to snap down lift it, move it around. Because once you lift the lever up, you disengage the auto, uh, the computer, if you will, and that's how you would manually sweep it. So you can fly around transonic with the wings open. Your turn rate will be insane. Problem is, if you're not careful, you'll s snap the black. Mm -hmm. You'll black out instantly. That, or you can literally hear the aircraft crying for help. The airframe is bending under the pressure that you're putting on the aircraft. So that is, it's a trick, but it's a one trick pony. Normally if someone is visually watching you and they're watching the approach vector and they're seeing that you're coming in really fast, but they see that your wings are open, a good dogfight is gonna know it's about to happen, right? So you don't wanna do that too much. It's all visual keys with the wings open and closed. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing that you wanna do is know how the computer works, the auto computer. I started with the, wing, uh, the lever and then I uh, just spent hours of practicing with the computer. So the computer works off of your airspeed, your acceleration, and you'll notice you could be going a slower speed, but the higher you are, the wings will naturally be closed. Mm -hmm. So it's a mixture of those three elements that will determine how the wings operate. So if I go into a merge with you and we're going, let's say 500 knots, and you're going 500 knots, so it's, you know, we fly right past each other, but my wings are closed. Naturally, what everybody does, and this is, I won't bleed this into Hornet syndrome, but they want that speed. So they'll naturally keep it up or they'll have that burner engaged. If you leave your burner engaged prior to your turn, your accelerometer is going to go off the charts. The Tomcat's got ridiculous thrust. When you have that thrust engaged, the computer will keep your wings shut because the acceleration is overtaking your airspeed and your altitude at that point and what the computer's it, like taking in from what you're giving it. If you want to get your wings open efficiently, what you want to do is when you go into the turn, don't go come completely off to idle, but down rev the engines, if you will. And you want to do uphill turns, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So if I'm making a right hand bank, don't do a flat horizontal. You want to go up. If you go up, you're fighting gravity. And as you're coming off the power, you're decelerating rapidly. 
So the computer goes, oh shit, we got to get the wings open. So as the wings are opening, another factor is happening as well. And you got to understand this if you do manual wing manipulation with the handle. With the wings open, they are tr- causing a crap ton of drag mm-hmm. with them open. Which if your opponent tries to escape to reset the fight or do some sort of energy fight, if you leave the wings open, the legendary you know rocket ship Tomcat will feel like you're flying a MiG-21 that's not going to go anywhere mm-hmm. when you go into verticals with people. Because the wings are open. So you got to really get used to working that computer. So back to the turn, if I make that uphill turn with my power down and I'm turning in, not tight enough to make a flat spin or the vapor coming off the top of the intakes, but when the wings start opening, then you start applying that power and that afterburner. Because the afterburner is no longer accelerating you. It's keeping you in the air. Think of it as you're actively pushing the aircraft through the turn rather than you know you know, like I'm just flying straight through it really quick then you can keep the wings open and actuate your flaps and slats as they're in the dogfight i typically use the flaps just i have a my hotas is the a10 and i have the on the left side of the throttle there's your little flaps not uh switch down there mm-hmm. by default if you just push it into the down position it forces everything down and then you can force everything back up in and out of the dogfight so if like if your opponent tries to escape you, flaps up and your wings are in auto, you can use the uh, aft set, uh, uh, the auto aft, and you can bring the wings back and just accelerate after them. Interesting. But it really, it, a lot of it is wing manipulation. Wing stuff, yeah, and we've got the ability to do that, unlike the other planes. So it's, it's a good thing to make use of, I suppose. Uh, Follow up questions to that. Um, is there a max wing opening speed where if you put your wings, oh, force your wings open, they're just going to die and break? Yes and no. So in my experience with doing it, um, at the end of the day, it's a gearbox that's in there and it can only work so hard and it won't overwork itself. So there are systems inside the aircraft that will prevent you from opening the wings, if you will. Mm -hmm. But if you force them open, they won't instantly open up. If you're going Mach 1.4 or something like that, and you try to open the wings, they will slowly force their way open, depending on how fast you are. So the slower you are, the faster they're going to open. The uh, uh, Sorry. The slower you are, the faster they're going to open. The faster you are, they're going to open very slowly. And then as you decelerate, they're going to open very quickly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, now, in regards to snapping them, if you go too fast, the aircraft... From my experience, if you go downhill too fast and you keep going downhill really fast and you have those wings left open, if you just touch the stick, the wings are like the tip is Mm going to fold in and the whole wing's going to give out. Mm -hmm. I've never actually ripped it from going too fast. Instead, what I've had happen is, um, as I said, it's like if you just pull, Mm -hmm. the wings are going to fold and they're going to give out if you're going too fast. And you can't. Yeah, it's the loading on them. Yeah, and the other thing to note as well, with your wings open, the aircraft cannot succeed Mach 1. Mm-hmm. It won't push past ma- Mach 1. Another one, as well as uh, just the general fact that it is uh, not fly-by-wire and it requires actual skill to fly, the biggest problem I have in a dogfight is my complete lack of ability to know how fast I'm going. So uh, the only thing I want in a dogfight to know, I can get all of the everything, altitude, aspect, everything, I, G-force, I can get just from feel and by looking. But I need to know my speed. And the F-16 tells me that with my HUD. And the 18 and the F-15 tell me that. But the F-14 only tells me in a tiny little steam gauge on the bottom left, which I can barely see in the best of times. I never know how fast I'm going. And that's Excellent really hard question. for me to judge if I'm going 200 knots or 600 knots. Excellent question. And honestly, it is more simple than you think. Um, for one, if you can look down at that gauge, you can always do that. For me, honestly, the way I judge my speed, since I've now broke away from using the handle as my wing sweep, and now I'm used to manipulating physics, if you will, to open the wings, turn on your mirror. Look at your mirror depending on how your wings are opened or closed with the ah. computer engaged, will determine your airspeed. How interesting. Okay, so keep your mirrors open and look at what your wings are doing. And if you're in an auto... Yeah, so you're saying that if it, 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 if you're in an automatic type mode, then they are just going to reflect your rough speed and acceleration. Yes, yes. Right, okay. Another thing too is the more you fly it, 
So let's say you're in a turn fight and speed is important. You want to know your speed. The Tomcat has more tactic feedback, if you will, when you're doing flat turns than the other aircraft because all you get is like beeping sounds Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. all the typical fly-by-wire stuff that you get with the other aircraft. The Tomcat, she'll shake. She will do all sorts of just sounds, vibrations. Mm -hmm. And if you have your mirrors on, you can also see the vapor coming off the top of the intakes. Mm -hmm. Those are very keen like visual cues of your airspeed similar to how i just said earlier if i'm in a dogfight with an 18 or a 16 the moment i see the vapor pop up the back of the aircraft i've got an already rough estimate of what the speed of that aircraft is and that's what you need you need to the nearest 100 knots really that's what you're ever going to need exactly and then honestly just the more you keep flying the tomcat in low speed airspeed isn't really a thing that you need to really worry about once you build the muscle memory to get that turn radius down because once you get that turn radius down that dude the f-14 can just hold burner and just do vertical loops on top of people and there's nothing you can do about it Mm -hmm. as the opponent unless you're in a 14 that's was it like sixty thousand pounds of thrust or something like that coming out the back of the 14 yeah Yeah, which gives it power to weight ratio right at the top the, the big yeah. Ones. So another quick thing, if anybody asked this, I'm going to go ahead and lay this out because I've had a lot of people complain in duels and stuff like that, how it's a broken flight model or something like that. The longer it takes for you to fight a Tomcat, the harder it's going to get. So people complain about starts to weight ratio being bullshit, etc. There's well, these this this is the more the small dogfight community, if you will, the people that only do dogfighting. And they say the model's busted. The thing that no one calculates with doing thrust-to-weight ratios and stuff like that is as you are dogfighting and you are burning fuel, your aircraft is getting lighter. Mm -hmm. The F-14 full tank requires a lot more work, if you will, to keep keep in the turn and not flat spinning. The more you burn your fuel, she's going to get tighter and tighter and tighter when you get lighter. So... If your opponent, if you know how to manipulate your turns and play more on a sphere like turning circle fight rather than looking at flat turns, and you manipulate your weight at the beginning of the fight, so you can fuel dump, you can just hold the burner down and position yourself on off angles and kind of delay, like think three steps ahead of the fight. The lighter your Tomcat gets, the tighter and slower you can pull. Uh, yeah, I mean, all of the big fighters suffer from that, I think. The F 15, the. You know, all the superiority fighters, the F-15, the flanker, the um, F-14, they carry such vast amounts of gas that they are the the difference between heavy and light fuel loads for ACM is uh, night and day. So um, I've sent you some um, testing in DCS. I do this just to compare it to the real EM charts. Uh, what I've done is I've optimized everything. So I've gone through the entire EM chart, basically from 200 knots to 500 knots, to find the maximum rate it can sustain with... 50% gas, which I know biases against bigger planes like the F-14, but, you know, suck it up. That's how it is. Um, right. And all are at sea level. And what I found was the 14, even with its high bias of um, of having a big fuel load compared with a lot of the other planes, is all the way up here at 20 degrees with its wings out. And this is not with any manoeuvring flaps or anything. It's just vanilla F-14, everything automatic. Um, you're right pretty much at the top there. Um a fraction away from the MiG-29, and the FA-18C is very, uh, what's the word, um, um, controversial, whether it should be 22 degrees or not, but it is at, at the moment in DCS. The other thing to note is the F-14 finds its peak low down, like unlike anything else except for, I think it was the Harrier, likes to be low down, uh, which I found very interesting. Um, any comments about that? Did you expect that? Did you not expect that? Yeah, it, it looks so. The the one thing that is definitely sticking out to me. So I, I see your air speeds there. Mm-hmm. Um, in regards to, so I'm just going to compare this directly to the F-18C. Mm-hmm. The that turn rate at 22 degrees at 420. At that speed, your circle is going to be really big. Yep. Like you're not going to hold for right, exactly where the F-14 is going to be so inside your circle. It's not even funny. Mm-hmm. And the, the other interesting thing is F-14, although it's low speed and high turn rate, it's still low, relatively low G and you can fight. Whereas that F-18 is banging on 9G's door and you can't really fight when you're blacked out. It's just a, a, exactly. a point of interest. Mm-hmm. And, and you go to the extremes, you look at that MiG-29 or the F-15, you pull in 450 knots, 9G. It's impressive, but you can't actually fight like that. You know, no one can fight like that. You might be able yeah. to evade and that's it. Right, I'm going to start up now, guys. Uh, we'll jump in a mission and we'll have some 
Some bang bang, stand by. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, especially in these controlled, you know, fights on merge, is just keep your engine somewhat spooled down, keep your speed at around 400 knots. You can look at the wings there, they're not really opening or closing. Yep. Do we get mirrors in the back? Uh, no, I don't get mirrors in the back at all. You do. They're above your head. Oh, hello. I'll drop. All right. Got him spiked. A lot of people don't use this, but for the people watching, there the TV feature is very highly recommended to use wow. for the pilot. So when you lock up an opponent with your radar, the TV, the camera that's pitted underneath the nose, will actively track. And if you lose radar, the camera is an IR camera. It will act like visually keep tracking the target. And you can tell if your uh, opponent's turned into you or not and stuff like that. Roger. Okay. Right, here comes the merge. So I'm going to come off the power. Let's get ready for that turn. So I'm going to start rolling this left, and I'm just going to gently pull up. I'm going to use that power off. You can see the wings opening up. Yep. You can hear the airframe shaking, so I'm going to start putting in some power. So I'm going to push it, position myself underneath of him here. Get ready for that second circle. He's already, he came in really fast. He took a really wide turn. So he's going to come down to meet us now. He's passing over the top. Here he comes. Going to use some flaps here. Come off the power. Keep forcing this fight towards the deck. There's that flat spin. To counteract the flat spin. Hey. <laughs> Not me. I didn't even have to shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> I might have actually had you uh, before I hit the ground. But okay, you okay well. guys, should we um, should we restart? Yeah, yep. Quick ejection. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna come off. I'm gonna come off the power here. We're under 450 knots, so we can use our speed brake. Get that deceleration going. Get those wings ready to go. Okay. Get those RPMs. Yep. Get those RPMs up. Now we don't want to get anywhere near the burner yet. So we don't want to be accelerating, get those wings sweeping. So as we come into the turn, go ahead and apply that afterburner. As we get into the turn, and because we're already slow, going to get those flaps down. Going to ride the endurance of blackout here. Yeah, let's see down. VSL high to pick him up. We've got him locked up, switching the guns. Gonna go up here above him, forcing him to pull up to bleed more speed. He's beneath us there, see him? Three o'clock. Yep. We're getting some stall, that's fine. Shake him off here, don't give him that free shot. And we're just gonna lock him into a flat horizontal turn. Go downhill so we get some speed. We might have to go defensive here, he might get some shots off. Depending if he pulls that snapshot with a high alpha. Okay, he's low speed. I see the vapor coming off the back of his plane. He's low speed. He can't hold that turn anymore. So we can just sit here and very easily come in on him. Wow, look at that turn. Look at that. Just turn right around him. So you can hear the aircraft yep. vibrating now. That's your cue. So I'm coming off the stick a little bit. And there you go. See that va vapor coming off the back? We know he's holding high alpha and he's low speed right now. The only thing that's keeping him in the air is that burner. Get that VSL high ready to go. We got him locked up. Switching the gun. We're on at six o'clock now. Coming off the power so we don't overshoot. Go right there. Not dead. Very good. I'm almost dead. Not quite dead. No need to overplay this. We can. We have complete authority of the fight right now. Well, guys, you can probably quit now. I think we've. Um done the fight that we wanted to see i have some questions after that so things i noticed were you were going um uh your your speed uh was interestingly low compared to what i would usually see a 14 i would usually see a 14 driver bugging around at 400 knots but almost pretty much from the merge you were generally speaking between kind of 250 and 350 maybe a little bit more which is interestingly just what my chart said um, mm -hmm. where you should be uh, so the first thing is you're going what I would call slow for a, for a you know for a, for a turn fight compared to what I'm used to second thing is um, you're talking about your um, um, your flaps were you doing them automatic uh, manually or was it doing them manually why doesn't it do it automatically? I, I I, it's a long time since I studied the manual, but I thought I read that maneuver flaps, quote unquote, were automatic in a certain. So, way. 
in a way, when you're at low speed, the flaps will slightly uh, open up and the slats will open up automatically. Mm -hmm. But generally, the whole concept of automatic flaps, if you will, that you're used to in the 16 and 18, Mm -hmm. that's pretty much the wings. Mm -hmm. When the wings are open, that's your flaps, if 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 you get what I'm saying. Yep. The flap handle is very traditional in the sense of a World War II aircraft where it's an actual lever that is next to the throttles on the left side. Mm -hmm. And it's a full on like lever that you grab with your whole hand and you'll uh, push it up and down primarily for um, the most I've seen it used. So it's analog rather than just just one to zero. You can have 20, 30 percent, whatever you want. Literally whatever you want. It's Mm -hmm. a it's a full lever. Roger. Um, I'm just going back and looking at the controls here, and what I see is we've got. Are you using just flaps up and flaps down in the adjust controls menu? Yep, that's that's literally it. So it, now, a quick thing to note with the flaps, um, they will jam that's if what you I'm are not about. careful with them. Uh, if you're going really fast, so let's say about 400 knots, and you try to deploy them, mm-hmm. the flaps won't deploy because obviously at 400 knots, you're if you're going fast plus 400 your wings are either sweeping or swept back Mm -hmm. and the flaps won't deploy the slats will you force the slats down Mm -hmm. they'll jam open if you were let's say about 300 knots and you drop the flaps down because it's manual if you don't push them back up and you try to afterburn chasing after an opponent Mm -hmm. with the flaps down you can jam them open and they won't come up now here's the problem with that the flaps closest to the fuselage are what will keep the wings jammed open. Mm -hmm. So if you jam the inner flap on the wing down, you can't sweep your wings back. Interesting. Okay. So when you push them, I need to, I'm just going to jump in an airframe and just have a play with the flaps quickly. I can't remember quite how they work. So to deploy them fully, do you keep your finger on the button for a while? Is that how it works? Uh, No. So it's, it's a toggle switch for me. It's, it's either I have them up or, so I uh, flip them down, if and they come merge, right. I mean, you put your flap, you put your flaps out, gen, not not far after the merge. What stopped them going all the way down and damaging themselves? It was are they limited on? Sp- it's manual. If you have the Tomcat hurt herself, she'll do it. You just got to know when to not do it, not do it. So if the wings are open, so let's mm-hmm. say we manually broke the emergency wing sweep handle open and we pushed it forward and now we get the wings open. We're going 0.8, not, you know, mock. We're going really fast. Wings are open. There's nothing stopping the flaps from deploying. You try to deploy them, the aircraft will start vibrating like crazy. The, the flaps will try their very best to push themselves down. Mm-hmm. But if they meet too much air resistance, they won't push down all the way. And then once you finally get to a slow enough speed, they'll fully deploy, but they'll be jammed open. Okay, well, um, probably the best thing is you just uh, talk me through when flaps up, flaps down. So are you looking at your flap deployment gauge or are you just um, assuming that they've been deployed correctly? Um, so this, is this again, comes down to the mirror indicating that you have your flap. Because when you push the flaps down, flaps up, toggle switch, if you will, when you put them down, the slats will come down with them. And you can't see the flaps from the mirror, but you can see the slats deployed. Right, interesting. Right, so I've not get, got to get out of the idea of bunging into that merge at 450, 500 knots and climbing to the sky. That's what I do currently. So that is a tactic. You can energy fight with a Tomcat. You can do that. Yeah. It's a mixture of strategy. At the end of the day, you got to think three steps into the fight. I mean, my, my idea would be, at least for keeping it simple, my idea would be, because it's so, such a good fighter at slow speeds, you know, that kind of 300 knot area where the others really start to struggle. The general thinking I would have thought would be generally stick, try and stick slow tight circles rather than big power pulls where you, you're probably going to get beat by an F-15 or something. Funny thing is about that, you can match and in a lot of cases outplay an F-15 at high energy states because you don't have any restriction on how tight you can pull. Mm-hmm. If you do the manual sweep, you can play with your geometry of your wings mid energy fight, and you can actually do a, a lot of high speed, tight turns. And when your wings get open at high altitude, at higher altitude, everybody's struggling. The air is thinner. You got to rely on a lot of power. And at that point, who do you think's got the best lift up there? Mm-hmm. The Tom Cat lets wings open and flaps down. 
Mm-hmm. You can really get some because no one's going to be able to keep with you. The strategy yeah. then at that point is to push someone outside of the turn and forcing them to either extend or try to play ball. And when they try to do that, it's going to turn into a downhill barber pull. And it's the Tomcat's going to win just about every time. The only aircraft I've personally had issue with with a good pilot up against me is uh, a Mirage De- due to its Delta wing. It doesn't turn tight. It's the concept of the fact that it can float. Mm-hmm. For my, should I be an auto wing sweep for this? Sure, if you want. Okay, you I'll, can do start that. With that. I'll do that. And I'm going to try control my wing sweep by my speed. Um, just, how are you two? Are you in the back? Are you in the cockpit now? I'm, also, I'm, I'm amazed that you don't struggle with visibility. Such a big bow. How do you keep them out? Of the uh, bow? That is exactly where I want to usually keep someone in a fight. Honestly, it's a lot of just head tilting. I, I use track IR5 and I have the tilt feature trimmed out just perfectly for this aircraft. Well so I can tilt my head around and look around the bow, if you will. Yeah, I struggle with that with mine. I'm just playing with my flaps at the moment to see what they look like. Uh, mirror, turn the mirrors on. Mirrors on. Right, let me look at my wings in the mirrors. Yes, I can see the slats working, look. Mm-hmm. You might not be able to see them, I don't know, but yeah. I can see them. You can keep around 400 knots, just don't have too much power into it. Do a right hand turn and take us in the uphill right hand turn and then apply the power as you're applying the turn. So. Emerge. So do a little bit uphill here, put some power in, turn tighter, because if you turn too shallow, you're going to keep accelerating. Go flaps down. There you go. Let me check speed, flaps down. Flaps turn down. tighter. There you go, 12 o'clock. Okay, merged over the top. Let's do a right hand flat, uh, do a flat turn. Use that power. All right, you'll have to be my eyes, situational awareness. Yep, 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 yep. Nine o'clock high. Nine o'clock high, looking. Yes, got him. Uh, I'm not sure what to do, but I'm going after him one way or another. Yep, you can keep maintaining his turn, have him come down to us, or you can take the head on. Follow. Get rid of the jink, he might get some guns on here. Watch I've him. lost visual. I've lost visual. He's going to pass out beneath us here. Oh, he's going to slot in. He's slot in behind us, he's on our 6 o'clock. Okay, I'm going to Hold a turn. tight right hand hook. Yep, I'm going to yep. Don't jerk that stick, just passively keep pulling. Keep pulling tighter, 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 tighter. Until you start feeling her vibrate. Absolutely, this He's holding see. with us. Absolutely, no, he's stalling. He's stalling. Yep. dropping. Yep. So he just can't stick with this while we can. Yep, and you can actually go uphill more. You can do an uphill turn uphill. here with his power. And you can get up above him and then drop down on top of him. We're doing it now. Be careful how tight you turn, it's going uphill. It'll bleed more speed Order. like this. Letting off. Okay, right. I'm on him just now. Go ahead and apply some y'all and just push us into the turn here. You can come down on top of him. Okay. There you go. You're getting it. You're getting it. Yeah. Check his speed. Going up again. Yep. He's struggling. He's struggling. Yes, he is. Just hold that flat turn. Flat turn. Just hold this flat turn. Keep visual on target. And just hold this flat turn. Yep. Nearly on him. There you go. Use that VSL high, get him locked up and gun him down. This is your kill right here. You're on my nose right now. Kill me. Yeah, we're firmly on his six. However you yep. look at it, we're firmly on his six. I can't remember yeah, if you any of the weapons, but I, I get the idea. Right, we've got you, RC. Get some. Uh, Pops up. You need to use the weapons or you don't win this. Okay. Right, it's a big cross, isn't it? You got. Oh, oh. Nope. Where are you going, RC? <laughs> Where are you going? I'm just going to be controlling yeah. him. Where are we? I'm going to run him out of here. here. Yep, you outpower him even without your afterburner on right now if you play it right. So you can just be very passive with the power and play because you have complete authority of this fight right now. I'm constantly changing flaps up, change flaps down if I want speed or I don't want speed. 
Yeah, if, you're, if it turns into a pursuit flight, you definitely want to put the flaps up. So right here, careful, he might... Your yeah. wings are sweeping. You yeah. need to be careful, you're coming in with too much power. Roger. Keep that roll. Don't let him shake you off. It's like riding a bull. Don't let him buck you off. Fuel. I don't have a fuel problem, RC. How's yours? I don't know. It's a J17. It's a what do you Or a JF. What do you think? This is great. Right here. I'm loving this. This Tomcat, when she really wants to. Alright, I'm gonna snap. I'm gonna snap. Ah, terrible gunfighter. A monkey going. There's rocket ship over the top. Yeah, you're, you're I'm, I'm gonna hold back, I'm gonna hold back, I wanna hold back. We want the burner going up like this, so you can oh keep that pole. Shit, I There you up. go. It's okay, put some left y'all, left y'all rudder back over. Pull as tight as you can here. You might get guns on here, you might touch us. Oh! Woo! Close shots, nice. close shots. Nice. Stay fenced in, don't let go. Right, Just don't flat spin us. Yep. Gonna get a bit of energy back in. Okay, he's made a mistake. This is a good time to put those flaps up and pursue after. You pursue. don't need the burner. Stay at like mill power. Yep. Ooh, careful. Going for a snapshot. Yep, this is where you want your flap. Ah, I missed it. Flaps in. Pull. Shit, I've lost him, I've lost him. Uh, three o'clock. Three o'clock sharp. Got him. He's turning into us. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to snap if I have to. Okay, reverse. Let's go, RC. We're good, we're good. All right, flaps down. Let's turn. Can he go uphill? Yep, and he has to stay down there. Yep. You have complete authority now. I'm going to dive in on oh, him. The burner. Yep, there you go. Hey, hey maneuver yeah. kill. <laughs> Woo! That was great. Made so Random much difference. Energy. Being, being A, maneuver flaps out, just like a spit, uh, sorry, not like a spit, like a 109, and B, being at the right speed, and just keeping a basic lag is all I was doing, just a basic lag pursuit, wasn't doing anything fancy, and became basically unbeatable. Should we try that? I, exactly the same, but is Onslaught in? Does he want to have a go uh, against me? Okay. Okay, hang on, just gonna have a too. Basically, I thought he'd play it like a warbird. <laughs> uh, a yeah. warbird with 60,000 pounds. <laughs> I mean, pretty much. I mean, I mean, that's actually really good. It sounds stupid, but it's a good analogy. A warbird, you don't want to go too fast. You get troubles. A uh, warbird, you want your flaps out when you're maneuvering. You've got to do really good management, whereas in an F-16, it's just fucking full throttle most of the time and just turn. Uh, right, I'm in yeah. if you want to jump in, uh, both of you. All right, jump in here. Let's air that up. Alright, I'm in. Okay, I'm coming towards you. Merge, then fight. What are you bringing? So, for my information. Sorry? What are you bringing? What aeroplane? Uh, F-16. Roger. Are you in BHS? I've lost him again. Oh, you must oh be there we go. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Roger. Okay. He should be at our altitude, so you can just use the PAL mode to lock him up. His radar on it. PAL's not going for some reason. I've never had that happen before. Uh, it should be. Never mind, I'll find him visually. He's done this before. before. Where's your location on Slaw? Um, okay, Tally, I've got you. Just got you. Looking, yeah. Just being weird for some reason. Air to air mode. I'll uh, I'll lay back in the comms, let you fly it for yourself. Roger. Right. And merge. merge. Oops, the <laughs> Excitement, I lost. Have you got me on, or are we both blind? 
negative eye effect felt. Oh yeah, I, I overdid it a bit. Tell me when you're back in the fight, I'm over the island. Yep, I'm back in the fight over the island. That drop players. I'm currently low. Those out. I'm literally over the island, 1,000 feet, easy to find. Clearing up. I'm scanning for him. Oh, okay, he's to our three o'clock low, going left to right. Okay. He's going over the runway Tally. right now. Okay, I'm diving in. There you go, good afterburner control coming downhill. Okay, he's reversed his turn, he's going left now. Yep. He's to our 11 o'clock. Visual. Careful, your wings are sweeping. You come in with a lot of power. You don't need to come all the way back to idle. You just need to come off the burner. Okay, I see. He's rolling to the left. Okay, going uphill here. Go ahead and lay off the power. Lay off the power. Just come off the power. As we go uphill, you're going to let gravity open our wings for us. Yeah, I'm just going to put my mirrors on. Oh, I'm missing again. Back. Okay, now you can start using your combat flaps. Careful, a lot of unnecessary burner. There you go, just keep bleeding that speed. Keep bleeding that speed as we... Uh, let me watch our speedometer here. We're at 400 knots. Okay, we're gonna get slow now. Yep, he's going up. Let's go ahead and reverse your turn. Follow him in the turn here. You can pull a little bit sharper to start feeling that vibration. There you go, you slot it in. Roger. For some reason, my pal isn't working, so I'm going to just have to aim by hand. That's fine. Uh, he's. Uh, do you lose visual? Yeah, I did. Fucked up there. Uh, he's somewhere to our left. That's our shadow. Oh, shit, I'm chasing our shadow. We are all there. Damn it. Go ahead and put our flaps up, get that energy. You don't need to burn, just get us some of that passive energy. I'm looking behind us. He's locking us up. Behind us. Pull, jink, 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 jink. Use those flaps. I'm going to go into a turn. He's right behind us. Just hold that flat right hand. Ah, fuck it, I stole it. Come on, regain, regain, regain. Okay, I'm back in it. Not a clock. Okay. Shots off, he's coming on to us. Why not? It's like, get it with that radar. With this. <laughs> you can't stick with this. You're going to beat him in this flat turn. You got this. Roll a little bit left. Get us 90 degrees rolled when you're pulling these turns. Oh, no. If it's going up, follow him up. You can beat him here. Oh, yeah, pulling. Put those flaps up. They're causing drag. We need airspeed now. He's trying to do an energy fight. I lost him again in the fucking I, I lost him too. Did you disconnect to No, 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 still. No, no, he went vertical. Invisible Chinese man. <laughs> Roll right. Flaps off. He's, okay, he's behind us again. Tally, flaps on. Turning. Real... Oh, too fast, too fast, too fast. Careful, careful, careful. Okay, power on. Let's do this. Got control. I'm blacking out. I've got it covered. You're good. Okay, little fast, little fast. Uh, uh, nine o'clock high. Roger. I, I can't keep visual, I keep blacking out. Oh, John, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit, which is pretty safe. Okay, I'm gonna maintain until we've got better information. Okay. He just. Okay. Yeah, he's well off, he's well off though. I'm gonna have to get him. Dive down, just keep on my speed. Speed's good. Maneuver flaps. I can just out turn him like a bitch here. I'm gonna go. We might get some head. We're gonna end up jousting here if he pulls no, I'm gonna, that I'm off. Have, I'm gonna get off his plane. Woohoo, nearly. Right, off power. Shit, go! Concentrate. 
Okay, he's in a bad position, he's in a bad position. <laughs> okay, I'm 350, I'm good. Oh, we're out of fuel, we're out of fuel. That was good. Oh. I really enjoyed that. I didn't do, I didn't really fly as well as I did last time. I found the F-16 a lot more powerful. Um, I th I think it's more like because I try to keep more on an energy, energy fight instead of trying to dock. Yeah, um, I, I really struggled. I guess because I have a bit more, a bit more of an advantage that way. I was trying to um, get you into a horrible turn fight and scissors, uh, but you kept blasting away at 400 or so. Yeah, absolutely. Right, should we do it again? I'll see you're going to come in this time. I might go an aggressor. Do you, one of you boys want to uh, go? I'll just like go again because I've done it a few times. Okay, uh, we'll just reset All Arsenal right. when you're ready. Um, so we're going a little fast. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Just understand that we're going to have to do a high turn now to get that wing, the wings open yep. efficiently. Get those engines pulled up and ready for burner. Go. Uphill. Fly that burner. Let's figure out what he's doing. It looks he's like he's taking high. a prolonged vertical turn. That's fine. So be just cautious with our turn here. Okay, he's rolling over our left. He's to our rear. He's not on our six. He's just behind us. Yeah, Cap has eyes. He's not in a particularly good position, I don't think. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn tight now. Come off the burner, though. We're going to black out. He's coming in. Get ready to do an uphill turn. Flaps uphill, up. uphill. We're going too fast for flaps. Your wings are upholded. It. It's fine. He's on our six. We can change this fight. Got him visual. He's slotted in right behind us. Get ready to crank. We're going to have to ch uh, change our turn here. Changing. He's to our right. Three o'clock. High. He's not behind us still. He's still outside of our circle. Or, correction, we're inside a circle. Oh. Okay, I've got my turn on now. Yep. He's behind us. Vapor's Sorry. coming off the back of his yep. plane. He's struggling, he's, he's struggling. Okay, I've got my turn bang on here. I'm after him. Let me go uphill. Not too much, not too much. Not too much. Go ahead and get us downhill. Predict his flight path. Okay, You're it. trying to outmatch his turn. You want to cut him off, essentially, if that makes sense. Yeah, I should be able to do it here. Yep. Put our flaps up. Flaps We're going up. uphill. It looks like he's trying to suck us dry of energy. Guns, guns, guns. Flaps are up. We can go after him. Okay, he's got to come There's down sometime. He's turning. Okay. You need to get speed down now. Get the, you can get those flaps out now, so you can turn inside of his turn. Watch out. Uh, As he straightens out, you want to put your flaps up. Straighten flaps up. Got a lock again. Just waiting. Keeping an eye on him. Okay, I might be able to get a snap here. Careful of our speed, careful of our speed. Watch those flaps, uh, watch those wings in the mirror. Shit, I did a thing and I've lost him. I did a thing and I lost him. It, it just roll left, roll left. He's to our left. Roger. Nine o'clock now. Coming uphill, flaps up, uh, up. We're in the joust, He's, we're gonna oh, head on, shit. watch out. I lost that. Right, I need to get my Woo! turn on. Uphill turn. Yeah, get those Flaps wings up. open. Open the wings. Power on, we're going up. Turn, turn, turn. Turn, turn, turn. Right, I've got a real good turn here. You can't get away. Yeah, ah, not do. too much. Wings, flaps up. Pursue. It hey, looks like he's trying to roll over the top here. Okay, I'm just going to go with it. Yep, you can just Please hold that speed. lag, hold that energy. Yep. Oh, you got him right here. Get those flaps open, turn into him. Flaps open. Get those burner no power. Get burners. Power burners on. Radar on. He's going back downhill again. Tally. So until he makes that decisive turn, keep those flaps up so you don't jam them, because he's trying to do a high-speed chase okay. here from the looks of it. He's going uphill again. Flaps full up. burners, full burners. 
Good discipline with a stick. Okay, stop following him. Roll a little bit to the right here and just go down to a little bit steeper here. Okay. And if he holds that right bank, we're gonna cut him off and we're gonna meet him. Here he comes. Get ready. Guns. You're gonna cut him off right here. Miss. Just high. Just high. Back on. Good try though, good try. Get those flaps out. He's gonna flaps. initiate scissors here. Scissors. Ooh, we might get some shots on here. Ooh, just missed. Too fast, too fast. Fucked up. Flaps definitely down. Power on uphill. Gonna go round. Turn, 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 turn. You're gonna get him right here, I'm maybe? I'm gonna get a snap on him. No, I can't turn. No, 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 no. no. Okay, can't. we've got the turn right here, I think. He's going up. Oh. Flaps out. Power on. Let's go and get him. Careful. Oops. When you start feeling a vibrate yeah, like that, you want to get your yeah. flaps open. Roger, noted. Okay, energy fight. Okay, roll a little bit steeper into the turn. Try to come off again. There you go. See, look at that. We're closing the circle. Look at that beautiful turn. I'm sorry, I lost the tally. It's the typical. 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Oh, should see him? Yep, got him. got him. Flaps are still open as we're a high energy fight. Power on. Yep. Flaps down. He's going into scissors. Trying to. Guns, guns, guns. Oh, damn it. Close. Right, flaps out, down. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Air brakes. He's got a belly stab yeah, us. Yeah. He's right below us. Got him. Power on. There's Flaps the vapor. Down. There's the vapor. He's struggling. Yep. Okay, he's got away. He's got energy again. Flaps up. He's reversing his turn. He might be going up hill again. I'm going to cut him off. Lost him. Now I've got him. Damn it. Oh, oh I, I'm, I'm out. out of it. So, same here. Really good yeah. fight. Like I said, it's not really about killing <laughs> each other because I'm a terrible shot anyway. But the, the interesting thing is I had absolute full confidence my ability to just stay on your back there to be honest until mm -hmm. one of us gave up and the reason is the um flat management the speed management although it's not perfect um and the awareness of what the plane was doing and i only dropped a wing maybe two times in that fight which is pretty good uh, does anyone want to yep. go um on the f14 uh, i could do a break to be honest and get in shaky hands all right rip do you want to do this on your own or you want me to talk to you just like i was you can give me some here? talk through okay Makes me want to fly the 14 again. <laughs> one thing, one thing about the, the 16 is you really, you really, really don't want to get below a certain airspeed. Uh, no, that's really the thing. Just, that's and, and the Tomcat yeah. does want to get there. That Tomcat comes alive mm. at 300 knots, whereas this thing just becomes a big angle of attack piece of shit at that point. I'm below you, RC, by about a thousand. I can merge with you if you want. I don't have a visual on you. Well, well, once oh, you put the F14 on and knife it, oh, I see. it's almost impossible to out turn. No, I don't see you. Okay, well, I'll tell you when I merge, and after that point, so your wings are far too back. You're going too fast. Yeah, and merge on really your fast. left. He's merged up behind us, 6 o'clock going high. Oh, I love you, fly by wire. I love you, fly by wire. Okay, so go ahead and take us up into a turn here. Come off the power. Don't put any burner. Get those wings open. He's slotting into our 6 o'clock. Get that burner open. Get ready to use those flaps. <laughs> yeah, that looks better. I'll There's better, I'll see. So once you start feeling the vibrations and you start seeing the vapor in the window, uh -huh. uh, sorry, the uh, the mirror, that is your indication that, one, you're too slow and you're going to stall out and you're going to flat spin or you're going to push out of the turn or, like Cap said, drop a wing. And it's what you want to deploy your flaps. You want to have your burner on at that point because you want that 60,000 pounds of thrust to push you through the turn. Okay. I've lost visual of him. All right, he's right behind us. Six o'clock. Bank Stop left hard. shooting me. We're learning. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you come and chase me. I'll go by. You come and chase me. Chase me. Chase me. Chase me. There you Where go. He's you? Uh, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, uh, 20 degrees high. Bank to our left now. Yeah. One o'clock.
All right, so keep, you got your mirrors turned on? Yep. All right, just keep an eye on those mirrors. You can see those wings sweeping. You don't need to see your gauge. So I can so feel it back here. You want you, out, right? You want them out for the tighter turn. So to have that work, you want to come off the power a little bit. You don't want to come complete idle. You just don't want that 60,000 pounds of thrust telling your, you know, breaking your accelerometer. You want to be off the power. There you go, like that. So now we got the wings open. You can start applying some power here. Just if he starts extending, you don't want to hold the burner too long because then the wings are going to fully sweep. And then when he tries to jink and turn us, our wings are going to be closed because, you know, we're pursuing him. So you want to work on that. So you, are, you have your flaps up and down bound? Yeah. Okay, so go ahead and put some burner on. We're going uphill. We're fighting gravity. Put that afterburner on. You can turn a little bit tighter and still, until you start feeling her vibrate. She'll start talking to you. You can pull tighter, pull tighter, a little bit tighter, a little bit tighter. There you go, there you go, there you go. Let off. That little threshold, when you feel it, you will know it when you've reached it. Okay. So your wings are sweeping, come off the power. There you go, your wings are open again, put some power in. Careful, I can see us waking up and down, being a little herky-jerky with the stick. You want to be nice and smooth. Come off the power, he's trying to reverse the turns here. Use those flaps, drop those flaps. Put that burner on, we're going uphill. There you go. Do you see how much lift we just got out of that? Yeah. Like you can just feel the aircraft come alive when you pawn that burner. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Right. Okay. Uh, three o'clock. Bank he's banking right. Three o'clock low. Bingo. Bingo. Uh, uh to our nice. four o'clock. He just he's dropping flares. Visual. Yeah, that's what I. He uh, went underneath of us to our right last scene. Okay, so look at those wings. We're picking up airspeed now. We're still fenced into the fight, so unless you plan to extend, then you need to watch your speed. So those wings closing, if he was to hop onto our 6 o'clock right now and start shooting us up, you won't have the lift to maneuver your aircraft tight enough to dodge him. Okay. The wings should be out. They're out. Yeah, just keep them out. Unless I'm extending, you're chasing me. Those wings should always be fully out. Right. Make you a spitfire. I've lost visual and cap. Yeah. Uh, we're over the island. That is unfortunate, boys. Get ready some 20 mic mic. <laughs> Uh, tally, 6 o'clock, okay. bank right. Bank right, flaps down, bank right, full burner. Don't panic stick. Pull very passively yep. in the stick. There you go, he's right behind us. See him? 6 o'clock. Yep. Keep this downhill turn here. We want to be gaining energy at this point because we're near stall speed. So dip the nose down a couple degrees into the turn until we start getting close to the ground. And keep pulling. Just keep passively pulling those flaps down. Because if you don't pull, then you're going to naturally keep building up speed and the wings are going to start sweeping with your flaps out and this is going to cause trouble. Okay. I'm okay, we're holding, we're holding a neutral turn right now. We're not turning. He's not out turning us and we're not out turning him. So just pull a little bit tighter. Slowly keep pulling until you start feeling the aircraft yeah. vibrate and start, you start seeing yeah. the vapor. You're winning. You're winning. Oh, it's vibrating. You're winning. Yep, okay, let off a little don't bit. Let it, off don't a little stall bit. it, don't stall it. Don't stall it. You're okay, you're okay. Recover, recover. You can let off the turn, like just let off the stick, and then you can recover, or you can apply some rudder. Okay, go get, get that burner. We need that burner here. We gotta push the aircraft through the turn. Yep, there's a stall. Just recover, don't worry about the turn fight. Okay, three o'clock high. He's uh, dumping flares. Pull up. Pull up. Pull 
God, this is so easy compared to the F14. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. no work. I'm driving with my little finger on both things. And the cock and the glass canopy. <laughs> yeah, turn, the glass mate. canopy is very nice. Good turn, Good right? Job. 14. Keep that burner. Keep that, keep that burn. There you go. You got him on the nose. Oh, there's that herky jerky. Just be careful with that. It's rolling left. He's trying to push the scissors here. If we get entwined uh, with him, watch out. Going to off that power here. Get him back on your nose. If he's trying to extend... Oh, where'd he go? I think he just passed underneath the bus. Uh, hey! Yep, break, three check o'clock low. Three o'clock. Get those flaps down. Hold that flat turn. He he sacrificed a lot of ah, airspeed. Oh. I'm out. <laughs> it's worth a go. All right, I'll try the 14 again. And, unless you want to, unless you want to try yeah. 14 on slow. No, no, no. You're good. I I got it. I understand the concept. It's good. It's a it's a turn monster, but it suffers worse in that high uh, AOA good. state. So I'm going to try and get 16 I'm, can actually. I'm going to try and get him slow. Then that's going to be my tactic. Try and get him slow. Get him to high alpha. Turn him into a big air brake. Yep. We're at 400 knots. Well done. Try to call out your airspeed as we fight here. It's been so long since I've flown this plane. For yeah, I don't like it. Air to air. Look, oh, vigil. I got vigil on them. To our uh, 12:30. And merge. Fight's on. Let me see if I can do this visually. Lost him in the horizon, annoyingly. I I did too. Damn it, that's frustrating. That's really hard to see that plane. I didn't lose you. You gotta watch that negative G. I'm oh, offset yeah. in this back seat. If you oh, put no. in negative G, it just whacks me out. Where'd you go, RC? I'm looking. Uh, I'm looking. I see. Uh, our he's two at six o'clock somewhere. Got him. Okay, I'm gonna get into a turn. Make him work for it. I still got no visual. I got him over the island. Right, going for a snap. Negative, going to the lag. Okay, we've got to emerge. Six o'clock. He's in a bad aspect. Yep, visual, visual. Okay, I'm just gonna get some speed off. Oh, we some there, Ooh. Good turn, that's a good turn. I got it. Come on him. Extending. Flaps off. Pulling lead. Careful of that burner. Our wings are sweeping. It's good to have this energy. You just need to understand that your turn radius is now short yep. because of those wings being closed. I'm in for snap. Okay, in for turn. Lost tally, lost tally, damn it. Did he reverse? 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. No, no, 1 o'clock high. 45 degrees. Watch out, 12 o'clock. Still no tally, going by in. Off the nose. Damn it. It's a map with seeing that thing today. Where'd you go, RC? Did you do it instead? What was okay. that? Okay, I'm just going to keep this area here then. Oh, I think he's weird. Right. Oh, man, it's so difficult back here to see in front. Watch out, I just need to get some energy back in the boat. He'll come in again when he's ready. Where are you? Over I'm, the island. I'm at the island. I'm sticking to the island, so you feel free to extend and recommit. I'm around the island. Six o'clock. Roger. Uh, okay, my credentials are good. Tally. Joust. And merge. Going in return. Don't stress. Power flaps down. Off power. On power. Flaps up. So he's playing this energy game. Yeah, yeah. All right, we gotta we gotta watch that. Okay. The best I need to get behind him. If I can get behind him, I can force him into some turns with gunfire. I bet you'd like that. I would like that. Right. I might be able to get, get him snap behind him. me and force me. Yes. Right, I might be able to snap. <laughs> <him>. <laughs> That's, RC knows what you've got. It's always cap. Yeah. Get behind people and force them. Okay, I'm on him. Speed, please. 
400 knots. Thank you. Perfectly happy. 450. Nothing you can do up be there. Ad be advised your flaps are, uh, sorry, your slats are jammed energy. open. Roger. Okay, I'm just going to keep it slow then. You can go fast. Your flaps are still working. Your slats are were jammed. Oh, no. Filling my energy bank. Okay. The F-14 cap, if you're playing with your military power correctly and you play with your energy correctly, you can actually maintain a stable pursuit on him. He has to maintain afterburner ah, to keep away from you. Fuel gain. I haven't gone into Bernie. That's what Bernie this is turning into. Yeah, I haven't gone into Bernie. I don't need to. Remember, these wings sweeping, you are aerodynamically superior and high oh. speed. You can just be very gentle with your power. Okay, so it looks like he's trying to hold us into a turn here. So good job on that turn. You're keeping it nice and smooth. Just keep an eye on him. Get ready for that turn. If you see vapor popping, he's wanting a low speed fight. Roger. You pull what does it mean when she says fuel low? Yeah, that's the problem with you, <laughs> obviously. It means get some better engines. He didn't give me enough damn gas. Okay, for everyone the same. We're burning everywhere at 700 knots. What do you expect? <laughs> All right, try and stay away. From Come you. off the power just a little bit and pull a little bit tighter. Get those wings a little bit open because you might do something desperate with low fuel. <laughs> like land and get more right here. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> get that emergency cable out. Drop the hook. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take Game an opportunity. Take an opportunity. Fuel. I'm gonna take an opportunity. Go for it. It's all you. I sacrificed my tactical position for a shot. Oh, he's seen me coming. He's seen me coming. The advised wings are sweet. Roger. Backing off. Good turn. You're holding nice and steady. Is he basically on the uh, defensive the entire? He is, because uh, he can't, he yep. can't, I don't know. The only time uh, I got behind him at the start, but that was it. <laughs> okay, so because our uh, slats are jammed open, you're fighting the slats, you're wasting gas. Yeah, I didn't think I couldn't get fast. All right, there's not much I can do, he's kind of doing 700 knot turns. Is yeah, the lighter he gets, the faster he's going to get, but at the end of the day, he's low in gas. We're at 2,900 pounds. Plenty. As long as you don't touch that burner. I'm at uh, 401. Oops, how embarrassing else. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. What we'll do after this is we'll put VHS. Embarrassing. We'll put, me down. We'll put VHS in the Tomcat on next. Whoops, I wasn't concentrating in the next round, and we'll see if anyone can beat oh. it. I think that's, uh, it got really quiet up here all this time. So. Yeah, I was uh, chatting shit as usual and forgot about you. Oh, I'll see. Right, no, so I'm, what we'll do now I'm is done. we'll put VHS in the um, in the Tomcat on his own, or someone can ride with him if they want, and we'll see if someone can beat him. And if you, VHS, just talk, because this is a learning experience at the end of the day, talk through what you're doing um, for the viewers so they can see it from the outside. Uh, I'll go aggressive first of all. Can a good Tomcat pilot like you, what planes will you have problem fighting other than other Tomcats? It's really difficult. Yeah. In a low speed turn fight, a lo like a low speed, like what we were doing, a Mirage will be difficult, not because it outturns me, because it's because it floats inside my circle. So I have to like offset my position all the time to get a shot off on a Mirage. Uh, 18s and 16s, the moment you just suck them into that low speed turn fight, like there's not much they can do. Well done. So I, I, the only thing that really gives me trouble is if I fight someone who's really good at energy fighting. Mm, okay. Well, like we, we just did, where I, I, I had my energy high the whole time. Right. And 
maybe we can experiment with that with this next uh, this next duel, if we will. But uh, I, I've been getting a lot better with energy fighting because the whole thing it comes down to is wing manipulation. If you use the uh, so not the emergency wing sweep handle, but if you use the auto on um, so by default it's on the hotas uh, the throttle. Um, it's manual aft, manual forward. If you use that, you can accelerate like crazy after people. And if you do it right, you can like plan out a trajectory. Uh, tra- excuse me, if I can speak, trajectory. Um, so, if, so like, let's say we're facing the F-15 in energy fighting, notorious energy fighter. It's really good with that thrust to weight ratio, and it's a missile. Instead of actively turning and maintaining that high energy to pursue, it's like you got to chart out a course like a ballistic missile. And you can chase after people and just see that, oh, there they go. They're making a wide left-hand bank. And at high altitude, it's not like they can jink. There's no air to jink with. So as you see them do that, you can just manually sweep the wings back to 68 degrees. And then you can just plot out their course and meet them and cut them off like you uh, almost did uh, whoever we were fighting cap when you uh, cut, cut them off. So it takes a lot of just strategy and thinking three steps ahead rather than flat out mm-hmm. trying to beat somebody in the category of performance. Mm-hmm. I mean, in a way, a lot of this is irrelevant. It's a, a lot of what we're doing now is only going to be if your guns, gun which, and it's almost never you're actually going to have a uh, just a gunfight. Usually it's just how much alpha can you pull on the first turn to get the aim 9x off. That's probably the reality. But when it goes to gunfights and endurance, then which is I much prefer, obviously. Um, Funny um, thing about aim 9x's... Yeah. Um, I might come off a little bit cocky saying this, but there's been several people here in the GR server that I've taken on to the Just Dogfight server. Mm-hmm. I'm like, hey, you can use that F-16, you can use that AIM-9X, and I'm only going to use guns, and I bet beat them every time. Oh, I like that. Are you just flaring those? Are you flaring them? And um... No flares. Hmm. Okay. So, there's, so in regard to the AIM-9X great missile and when i regard when i'm talking about the a9x i'm also talking about the archer Mm -hmm. both those missiles have the same capability in regards to vector thrust the other problem they have is very interesting how how to explain this let's say you're above me and we're both in low speed turning you're making a left hand turn and i'm matching your turn so i'm also turning but i'm positioning myself on an off angle where when you fire off that missile all I got to do is turn tight underneath of you. And the missile not only has to match my turn, and then also has to predict me to match me. So as it's making that turn to cut in, it has to pull up as it's trying to match me. And the missile just can't do it. Not at low speed. Because the missile, because remember, the whole concept of missile strategy is if you're at low speed, where do you think your missile is when you fire it? It's also at low speed. Mm-hmm. That's why the AIM-9X and the Archer have insane turn rate when you're going fast, 400 knots plus, or around 400 knots. Because like when you drop the missile off the rail, it's already going 400 knots. Mm-hmm. And when it's making those turns, it can pull those insane turns with the speed that you're giving it. At low speed, the missile has to fight itself, pretty much, to get into the turning uh, radius of myself and the Tomcat. Mm-hmm. I don't even need the flare. I'm just outsmarting the missile in the sense of physics if you will okay you're back now you're no longer lagging so i'm going to come back into a fight i'll uh show you where i am where i managed to find you i think you were lagging a bit cap because you were having some right, we'll just, we'll, just stick over the island we'll find each other um yep, 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 yep. pretty easy I'll, I'll fly over i'll dump players i'm approaching the island now and my heading zero seven zero tally well, i'm gonna lock you up on your right hand side by one mile Getting on your six now. 500 knots, fight's on. Yep. So I'm seeing that Cap is holding energy. He knows he can't win a low speed turn fight. This is all off of an assumption. 
So I'm going to just keep my flaps up, slats up, and I'm just going to do lag pursuit right now. Just play with my burn. I'm not even touch my burn. I'm at the mill power, and I'm keeping with them. I'm going to jink in. To miss on my end. I'm going to stay outside of the turn so I can visually watch my opponent, figure out what he's doing. He's going to try to pursue, uh, have me pursue him, excuse me, so I'm just going to leave it military power. Put in a little bit of burner, like stage one, stage two. Wings are sweeping perfectly. So he's turning tighter, so I'm going to let off the power, I'm going to do an uphill turn. And as I'm doing this, I'm keeping with him, but I'm also getting those wings to open up. Now I'm coming back downhill, I can pull a little bit tighter. Ah, nice. Ooh, nice. I was trying to get to 9G and just um, get 20 degrees of uh, turn, but I just I didn't get there in time. Right, very good. Next guy. Go ahead, Onslaught. Well, if it's the last fight, we can make it fun. You and uh, Rip can also get into the fight 1v3. Goddamn right we will. You don't need to ask <laughs> us twice for that. F-16s, ho oh, attack! One, uh, we have to merge it all at the same time, otherwise it'll be unfair. So F-16s, uh -huh. uh, try and stick together. Um, I'm gonna get myself sorted here. Uh, what do I need on? Master arm on, guns on, radar on. Okay, I'm done. I just wanna ask your, for your flaps, do you bound it on the flaps, uh, the uh, lever, or is it on the throttle? It's it's uh it's labeled as flaps up, flaps down, and I have it bound to a little uh flap, flaps toggle switch on the side of my eight ten hotas just at the base of uh, my yeah, funnel. Yeah. He's below uh, okay. you but on slot. Don't fall in for it, he wants to go up straight away. So meet him or get below him, it's gonna upset him. I'm right behind you by the way. Time to catch up. I'm gonna go radio silent for this one. Gotta concentrate. And Alley three. Merge merge. One. And I merge two. I'm gonna go with on so I don't cheat. Two. Okay, fight sign. Okay, backing you up on store. Right. Oh my helmet's off. God, no wonder. We got him on slot. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him! My flyer's chasing a shit. Go on, boys, have him. Shit, he's looking at me, guys. I don't like it. I'm going too fast, he won't catch me up. Oh, I'm a twat. Never mind. <laughs> he's just fast. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> Boys, get him. He's out turning us, he's out turning us. He's gonna get a clip. I'm pulling as much as I can. I know, there's not much you can do at this speed. You you guys are meant, meant to be turning at 450, so he's oh he's got you. He's got you. Big old bitch. What are you trying to do? Woohoo! Oh, Onslaught's out. Pasted. One man left. Well, if I had a sight, he would have been done. One 
mile from each other, no, two miles from each other. Tom Gat is low, F16 is high. You're now based on top of each other, so look vertical plumb. F14 is low. Tomcat's going into conservative game. Oops. Tomcat slaps her down but flaps her off. Going for a snap. Missed. Burnley on his six is going for a snap. It's going to be a kill or not. Oh, so close. Oh, he stalled himself. He stalled himself. And he's back. RC on the energy game. As he should be. A lead pursuit from Tomcat. 16 spotted it and is reversed. Oh, no. <laughs> I black. This, uh -huh. this is what 1,000 hours in the Tomcat looks like. Okay. <laughs> you can let me go, I'm gonna die. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> God wanted to favor you. Come on, RC, bring it back for wow. the Falcons, goddammit. <laughs> Tomcat flaps up, slaps up. And now the starboard one's jammed open. Oopsie! Uh oh. Butterfingers. Can that be fixed by doing so? It's fixed on mine, but it's just because it's desync, whatever you call it. Double lead pursuit there from Tomcat. It's going to have a pop. Couldn't quite get the angle. Reverse by F16. Saw it coming. A couple of hopeful shots. Team being conservative. It's going for a low dive. No, energy game from F16 still. Oh, every time he goes for a snapshot, Ozzy spots it and reverses. I mean, for Snoke, spotted it. Good work from the Falcon. Blacked out again. Oh. <laughs> Try to get away. Oh. There's trouble coming to the Falcon. The good thing is, your power to weight is so good in that Falcon, it was just like a rocket there. 14 can't keep up. Uh, I keep my wings swept at the cap with, uh, with them. I put a manual sweep and held 68 degrees. Roger. Nice. It's worked. Couldn't quite get the lead. I'm on the air bird. F-16 now, fuel, I think. No? No, not yet. Jink. It feels like, it feels like it's just swapping flies. Trying to be a sport and shoot him down, but part of me just wants to <laughs> run out of gas. It is quite fun, isn't it? I am going to run out of it's gas. More fun shooting sure. him down. Is that 14 out of gas? No. Nope. I'm just pulling down. Turning back to 68. Yep. Yeah, wing set to 68 degrees. No this need for me to really do this. Yeah. If he's going to do the run game, I'll let him run out of gas. Yeah. Thing. F-16 has to burn. Yeah, it does. I can't he, get it around. He can just put so. his, no, no, there's nothing you can do. You know, it's, well, nothing I know how to do, so... Just stay that's alive. It. And that's it. It's done. Well, right. victory roll for the 14. Woo! Okay.
Okay, back to spectators and debrief. So, that was really good, I and mean, there's a great example of three guys that can fly, you know, we can fly okay, we're, we're not great, but uh, against a guy who specialises and really knows his jet, really knows when to use the good bits of it and when to e avoid the bad bits of it, and that shows the difference you can make. Uh, I've learnt loads about the F-14 today and how to use it, I just need to try and remember now. Um, those Just those key three things I really want in my mind when I do a dogfight. So I really enjoyed that. Any question for Fee while we've got him on? No, no, that's about it. Okay, good. Right, I will keep in contact, V. I'm sure we can uh, do other stuff because uh, I found that quite interesting. To be honest, anything you want to put to us, or you've got no, us? man. I mean, at the end of the day, if you like your jet, man, it's your passion, your hobby, whatever you want to call it. So, don't be afraid to put some hours into a Tomcat because once you start learning it, it rewards you. It feels good every single time when you get that really, really good dogfight. Yeah, and fighting the flat spin just on the edge of that yeah. spin, you know what I mean? You just mm -hmm. really work it to the very end. It's rewarding every single time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just reminds me of a warbird in so many ways. You're always on the edge of that warbird of that angle of attack, the critical angle of attack when it just goes. Uh, really good fun, guys. I learned a lot and showed how potent an F-14 can be against what is supposed to be, really, a better jet. So um, I chuffed about that. Right, I'm going to go and have my dinner and relax and chill like that. Um, uh, if you're about tonight, V, then um, we run uh, games where everyone's allowed to come in and dogfight, so just bear that in mind. Otherwise, I'll see you guys and I'll see the stream later.